Okay, we're making some good pr progress here. Now, the last thing we want to do is be able to control, have the user control the sound a little bit more. I've got a, a sound off and sound on buttons down here at the bottom. And I want these buttons to be able to turn the sound off when the user wants to. Uh, adding that a little bit more of control is great because sometimes the user just doesn't want to listen to that sound. They want to have that off. So we've applied an instance name to our buttons. Here we've got sound on, um, BTN, and I've got, you guessed it, sound off, BTN. So we go back into our actions panel, and we want to drop down a line of code, and in this case, we want to go ahead and control the sound via action script. So we'll copy this line of code here, and go directly into Flash, and paste it. And essentially, we have uh, a few line of codes. This is something that's very familiar because we've written this in terms of navigation before, the same type of style. So this refers to our uh, just listens for the mouse click for the sound on button and the sound off button. So I, we've set that up here. And it's going to call these functions. When that mouse button is selected, these are the functions that are going to be called, a sound off function and a sound off. Now what are these functions? We can look down here to see what they are, what they do. The uh, sound on button, once that mouse event is, uh, is called, we're basically going to play it. And this line of code is identical to what we see here at the top. It means that's just going to play the sound file for us. And the next button, sound off, we want to stop that sound. So we have a sound control class, but we actually want to stop that sound from playing. So that's how we would control our sound. Now since we still have this seventh line of code, if we take a look at it, that's automatically going to play the sound. So as we press Control Enter, our play button's not going to do much for us because it's, it's going to play the sound, um, and the sound's already playing, but our stop button does. And that stops the sound completely. And then we go back to the sound play button, we can hear the sound and then stop it. So we have so we have controls in that fashion. So kind of stop and start sound inside of our action script. So just a few more lines of code puts that uh, puts that control in the user's hand.